If you've ever wanted to visit Belarus, I have a way that we can travel to it from your kitchen right now because we are gonna be making a delicious potato pancake recipe called Draniki from Belarus. And we're gonna be going through the steps right now. Hey everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name's Alexandria, and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are taking a journey to Belarus and we are making draniki, or it's a potato pancake basically. And they are delightful, I love it. To get started, I have six Idaho potatoes that I have peeled and grated. After I was done grating the potatoes, I put them in a large bowl and cover them completely with room temperature water and let them sit for five or 10 minutes, kind of swish them around with my hands. The water you can see is gonna to start to turn like a reddish brown. After they're done soaking for about five to 10 minutes, you're gonna take them out and lay a piece of paper towel down on the counter and then use your hands to remove the grated potatoes from the water and put them into the middle of the paper towel. And you're gonna gather up the corners of the paper towel and just squeeze with your hands so that all of the water comes out and make sure that you're squeezing that water into a small bowl on the side. Once you've removed all of your potatoes from the large bowl of water and squeezed the water into the small bowl, you're gonna put all of your potatoes that you have left in a medium bowl <laughs> and then you're gonna work with the two bowls of water. So next thing you're gonna do is pour all of this brown water that's sitting in the bowl. We're gonna pour that out into the sink, but at the bottom there's some little nuggets of gold. There's a white substance that's left in the bottom of the bowl, and that is the starch that's come out of the potatoes. So you're gonna gather that up with a spatula or spoon, put it back on top of your grated potatoes, some from the large bowl, some from the small bowl, and you're gonna put that into the grated potatoes that are in your medium bowl, and then you're ready to make the rest of the pancakes. Next thing that you're gonna do is I have half of an onion that I've grated as well, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, crack one egg, three tablespoons of sour cream, and then lastly, another half teaspoon of cornstarch. So we add a little extra starch into this recipe so that they stay nice and crispy when we fry it up. Once you've added all those ingredients, you're just gonna use a spatula or a wooden spoon or something to mix it all together. So now we have a thin layer of oil heating up in a pan on the stove. We have our potatoes here and I'm gonna take two heaping tablespoons of the potatoes and we're gonna let them fry until they brown on one side. Then we'll flip them over with a spatula and let them cook until they brown on the other side. I grew up eating potato pancakes because there was a potato pancake festival in the town where my cottage is. So I've eaten lots of potato pancakes in my life. And when I got to Belarus and saw that Draniki potato pancakes was one of the most popular dishes in the country, I was very excited to be able to make them at home. Once you take your potato pancakes out of the oil, you can put them on a paper towel lined plate so that it can soak up any of the excess oil that's sticking around and then you're ready to eat them. So you can plate them up with sour cream, which is delicious, I love it that way, or you can add applesauce on top too and that adds a little bit of sweetness, which is delicious. Whatever way you try them, if you do make them at home, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you thought. And if you need full written instructions, you can find the link to that in the description of this video. And don't forget to check out all of the other recipes that are on my YouTube channel too, because there are so many recipes from all around the world and you can bring culture to your kitchen every single week. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week, bye.